Is it worth going to Berkeley? Now the question I have for you is why do you want to go to Berkeley? Flame, thank you so much. $25 towards the loop battle, let's go. Look, I'm gonna do a guitar solo right now. And you gotta accept John. John, congratulate everyone. Shout out to John. He got accepted into Berklee College of Music. That is so epic. Congratulations, because I know how hard it was for me to get accepted. And dude, pat on the back. Absolute fucking legend. Congratulations, buddy. That is huge. Now you're asking me the question, is it worth going to Berkeley? Now the question I have for you is why do you want to go to Berkeley? Like if the question is, what do you want out of Berkeley? Like, do you want to get good at playing your instrument? Then if you're trying to get good at your instrument, do not go to Berkeley. That is a total waste of your money. Now, what Blue Berkeley will do for you is the stories. Like that is truly what the value of Berkeley is because you're in a place with hundreds of great musicians, thousands of great musicians. Every week, someone incredible comes to Berkeley and they offer a free workshop. They're there. If you can get into every single room that you can to learn and soak up the lives of people that are so successful, it changes your whole trajectory on life. Me personally, I never want to tour. I never want to go and do all the famous shit. I just want to sit in my studio and make great music and just keep improving and improving and improving because I was lucky enough to meet people that were super successful and that is what they want to do. Like that's what their end goal was. Like they already got the great thing and they're like, oh, is this it? Oh, you know? And when you get to meet the best musicians in the world, that is the beauty of Berkeley. Just to be able to get access to the stories of musicians. So if you're wondering about like, is Berkeley worth it? It's worth it if you're going to do that. For me, I couldn't really afford it. So in order for me to get um, my Berkeley completed, I had to uh, I had to get a scholarship, one. So I had to get a scholarship for guitar. And then the second thing I had to do was I had to test out on a bunch of subjects to save money. Um, I went to community college at the same time. So while all my peers were only doing about like I think it was like 16 credits per semester. I was doing like 24 to 30 credits per semester. So I had to do a lot to try and cut it down. So I did the Berkeley degree. Um, it's four years, I did it in three. So that was what I had to do to save money. And there's a lot of shit that you can do to save money. Um, also, I would recommend if you're only wanting to go to Berkeley to be a musician, then do the Berkeley diploma and not the Berkeley degree. So the diploma is a different thing where you don't have to do liberal arts, but you won't get a piece of paper telling you you got a degree from Berkeley. But no one has ever asked me about my degree, ever, about Berkeley. I've never had anyone be like, hey, can you do the Berkeley degree thing and show me how you did? It's, it's my fucking certificate is sitting in like the floor inside some shitty frame. Yeah, bank of dad goes a long way as well. Like the sacrifice that my dad made to make sure that I could go there was unreal. And when we went there, it was, originally we went there, the exchange rate was like, I think it was 90 cents to the dollar. And in the span of like a couple of months, it just went down to like, six, at some point it was like 65 cents to the dollar. Every dollar my dad earned in Australia, we would get, 60 cents back in American. So it got really, really wild. So I had to try my best to cut it down. I even said to my dad straight away, I was like, within two semesters, I said, hey dad, this is, this is fucked. I, I'll quit. Like, let's just quit. I'll come back to Australia. But he really wanted me to see this through. So kudos to my dad, like pushing through, working super hard in the background. So I studied quite hard. I graduated magna cum laude. So I had the highest grades. I kept my scholarship and then I also did extra stuff. So there's a lot of things you can do to cut down the cost, but it's a lot of work.
but if you're wondering like if you're like do i want to get good at music um before you go to berkeley just consume tomo fujita for guitar and then if you get all you, you want out of it then you don't need to go to berkeley to get good at guitar what's an average day at berkeley um you just get up and then you go to your classes you learn like so i was a songwriting major so it was typically like I would do my lyric writing classes. I would do my songwriting classes. I'd have to do, um, but yeah, if it's your dream, then do it. The other thing that is crazy helpful for Berkeley is if you have zero direction. So for me, when I went to Berkeley, I went there and I was like, I want to get good at writing. I want to become a hit writer, whatever. I was like so naive. I was like, I'm going to write a number one song. I'll go to Berkeley and I'll write a number one song. Cause that's what happens. You go to Berkeley, you can write a hit song. So stupid. Um, that I was naive to the fact when I actually met people that were going to write hit songs and I met them where they were at. And I was like, man, I'm like years behind this guy. Um, and so it was a real struggle to connect. I just felt like I was out of my reach, but now I, it took me years to get past that mindset. And now I can feel like I can get better. But basically, if you go to Berkeley, they just set you up with like, here's all the blueprints. Oh, well then, dude, bro, that is massive. Yeah, that's huge. I only got a third of a tuition, so half a tuition off is fantastic. Yeah, John, it's it's completely like, as long as when you go to Berkeley, you go in as a sponge. A lot of people came to Berkeley and, then, and they wasted their shot because the shot at Berkeley is not how much can you take from that? Like, like not how much can you like, take from the relationships that you have is how much can you give to all the people that you meet so for me i wrote myself off as a musician so all i did was give so all the friends i met all the people within the this the ecosystem we just had good vibes all the time and i just was in the room with everyone that i could meet and i just got to know them all got to meet all the professors went to every office hour went to all the master classes that were available did the nashville trip three times Every single time I could learn, I was there. And that's all you need to do. And if you can go there with that mindset, man, give it like a year or two after you graduate, you will be a, a monster. Just like so good. But yeah. But that's my personal relationship with Berkeley. Alternatively though, like here, I'll give you an alternative situation, right? So my roommate, did I meet Tomo? No, I never met Tomo. I could never get in with his guitar stuff, sadly. I have messaged him before though, because I, I, I would do his little content shit. It's so good. but. I'll give you another like trajectory, right? So my roommate is a piano player and he came into Berkeley with a scholarship as well. And he was pretty much like one of the best classical players already. He didn't want to go to Juilliard. He wanted to learn how to do pop music and stuff. He arranged pop music um, for, for, he would take a pop song, rearrange it with classical and do a bunch of crazy cool shit with it. And then he would post that on YouTube. He then got picked up by Chainsmokers then went on tour with Chainsmokers and he dropped out of Berkeley. So he dropped out of Berkeley, didn't even finish it. He just went on tour with Chainsmokers and now he's become like one of the best piano players in the world. So he didn't need to do that. Another one of my friends, she came in, cultivated her writing over two, two, three years. Absolutely slayed. She was like one of the best writers in every room. I was just like, man, she just writes such great songs. Got picked up and then she wrote one of the best songs for Elementium and then she dropped out, you know? So there's some people where their, their careers do start there. Um, the chance of that happening is very slim, but how much knowledge you can pick up and how much experience you can learn from all of these amazing teachers and the amazing people that come through the school to give knowledge. Cause there's shit that you're going to listen to people that are like guys that you will never like musicians. You will never, ever, ever get to experience and hear their thoughts because then they're gonna be sheltered, they're gonna be guarded in like interviews. But in a room where they just wanna teach and they wanna help you because you're a student, they're just like super open and free. And that was so 
amazing about Berkeley. But um, that's that's my advice for you. Um, I want to rip a solo because I haven't um, had the chance to rip a solo um, all day. so much you guys are just way too special as a community thank you everyone who donated towards the loop pedal we are less than nine hundred dollars to go eight hundred and seventy dollars and we will be able to get the loop pedal for the stream so thank you guys so much for that your generosity is incredible um uh i am so keen to i'm not going to see you guys for two days i'm sorry um, we'll see how I go. What's, what was the total for today? I think today, I think we got over $300. It's just crazy. Um, what I'm going to do, talk about Berkeley on YouTube. Or did you want Funky Tomo? Sure, I'll check that on. If you guys think that's cool, I'll, I'll put the clip up. I mean, look, honestly, my YouTube is just about you guys. Um, so... Like the content is just for me to improve. So if you guys have, if anything that I say in the stream, you're like, please put this on YouTube. I'll put it on YouTube. Like if one person gets value out of it, wicked. I don't care about algorithms. Honestly, I try to figure out the algorithm game and I just suck at it. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm just going to play guitar. And if it works out, it works out. <laughs> the fact that you guys are all in here means it's working. So by not trying for some reason it's working. So I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So um, uh, yeah, so I'll clip that for you guys and I'll post it up. No problem. Um, 